Hey YouTube friends, this is Mara and welcome back to my art break life. I was doing a little bit of cleaning the other day. I found some of my old art supplies. These supplies were from when I was in school. Over 20 years ago. But anyway, I digress. Here are the art supplies that have been in my closet and I haven't delved in them, haven't touched them in this long. So, and they're still in their kind of grody art state. So let me just pull them out here. So there's this box here of Grumbacher gray layout chalk. Oh, ooh, see, it's so old, the lid is broken. So I guess I had to buy this for some class. I don't remember what class that was, but it looks, you can tell they're slightly used, but very, not very much. And I'm not sure, again, I'm not sure what we had to use this for. It probably was a life drawing class or some kind of um, figure drawing class, but I kind of want to delve back into these. And to be honest, I hate chalk. <laughs> like I hate that it gets your fingers dirty. I hate that the sound it makes when it rubs on paper. I'm just, I'm just not a chalk person, but, but I do want to test these out and just delve back into them. So that's kind of fun that I still have this. And I found my little tackle box <laughs> of all these little, little chalks here. So in here, oh my gosh oh my gosh okay so in here i have my this is a oh it's a graphite stick okay so we use that oh, and i dropped it <laughs> a graphite stick in four is it four b four b graphite stick that's all that's left of it and here i have a conti crayon that's like that tiny i was milking it i think is this a Conti crayon? Oh no, this is a um, really soft charcoal that we use in life drawing. So it's like super thin, very, it's very breakable and brittle. I can't remember what it's called, but that was for life drawing. These are all the little pieces of chalk that I have left <laughs> from life drawing class. Those many years ago. And then in this little bag, I have compressed charcoal. Let me just take this out here. This is a round, stick charcoal wow my fingers are getting dirty already i remember how these felt okay so we have some round stick charcoal what's in here this is oh more round stick charcoal and little of those compressed charcoal things oh my gosh look at this bag it's so old that it's ripped and it's all like in oh my gosh okay anyway these are conte crayons i believe in that um, terracotta color Conti crayons so gosh I haven't used this in forever so there's a few of these here kind of broken and in this oh wow oh wow okay so it, these are just all my chalks from life drawing class so I just brought this with me and then just busted out the container when we needed it but here is a lot more chalks that I have all little pieces all still usable but so i kept them and then i have the white conti crayon so you have the little piece left and then i have a few extra pieces that are kind of broken here but oh my god the bag is so old it's like cracking and falling apart and then lastly in this box i have my chamois <laughs> this was used to like smear away some of the the chalk and so I would use it for shading. That's why it's so filthy. I just leave it dirty because then I would just use it to shade in some parts. Of... Oh, wow, there's that in there. And look, my hands are filthy. So that is my little tackle box here that I've kept all these years from art class. And now, ah, a few other supplies I picked up while in school um, are these Conti charcoal pencils they're not color pencils and i have not even used it it's that's so sad like it's still the original when it got sharpened from the factory and i've had these for so long i remember picking this up from the bookstore and i'm like oh these are so pretty i want to use them and i never do it's maybe one day we'll bust into these but that was kind of fun finding this i couldn't believe i still had this and then lastly i think i picked this up when I went to Japan, which was over 20 years ago. And and these are the Aquash, I guess, water-based or watercolor crayons. 
and I've used it a little bit. So this is when I first discovered these water brushes and I thought, and I hadn't seen them in back in America. So, and I thought they were the, the most coolest thing back then. And so here are my aquash, but I also have these Statler Carrot Aquarelle watercoloring crayons. So I had put these together in the same container because I figured why not, there was space. So I have two different sets of watercolor crayons in here that I have not used that much of. I've used it a little bit, but back then I had no idea how to use them when I bought them, so they just kind of sat. So I got all the colors in here. Look, there's a gray one here that's kind of crap. Ooh, Ew, what is that? <laughs> Piece of dust on there? Those were all the art supplies I found. I also found a drawing book from way back when. Or not from when I was little, little, but you know, when I was in school. So I, I can't believe I still had this. My practice life drawing tablet. So I drew a foot and an ear here. Oh no, I got my fingerprints on it. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, I gotta wipe my hand. This is why I hate working with chalk. Ugh. There's a lot of blank pages in between these. Okay, so this was something from my life drawing class. Oh gosh, oh, the chalk and I guess a quick arm study of the muscles. I wasn't that into the muscle part of it apparently. It doesn't look like it. And here is another muscle study here. Now thinking back on it, I definitely could have done a better job at this. I got a B plus it says. <laughs> I got an A minus for this one. I was kind of rushing I guess because I really honestly was more into digital animation at the time. If you could only go back, right? <laughs> Here is a leg study I did. And this is the drawing of a foot and its bones. And these are hand studies that I did. And here is some foot studies using the shading value. So let's see. Did you get that? Could you try again? That's weird when Siri starts to talk to you randomly. <laughs> I don't even have it on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a skull drawing I did. This is, this is terrible. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the other skull drawing that I did way back when. And then this one, not the greatest, but you know. And this, <laughs> this was from a fashion illustration class because I was curious about learning how to draw more illustrations. And that was pretty much the only illustration class there was. And it wasn't even in my major and I wasn't supposed to take it. But um, so I, I just signed up for it and I got it. And then it was funny because on the first day, the teacher was like, if, if this is not your major, we ask if you could leave and sign up for a different class because there was other people in the fashion major that were waiting to be put into this class because they needed it. And my friends and I just sat there <laughs> quiet. And so anyway, this is the fashion, one of the projects that we did. This is the first time I was introduced to alcohol pens. So I was never introduced to alcohol pens at all during art, but in fashion illustration, yeah, I was. So that was done with that. What else is in here? Oh Lord. <laughs> Portrait study, If you, can you see who this is? Can, can, do you know? And then these are just my little doodles I used to do a lot. These anime characters when I was bored. That's it for my 20 year old sketchbook tour. <laughs> oh, and there is one more thing. It's a little bit older than 20 years old. Are my watercolor paints. <laughs> I had these in tubes up until recently. I've had these paints since I was in elementary school. They were actually my sister's and she got it in some art set and she never used them. And so it just got passed between me and her. We've never used it. And then finally it landed up with me. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna squeeze it out into this palette and just try and use it. So I think I'm gonna start getting back into using this palette because I put it aside sketchbook that I'm currently using, the paper sucks in it. It's really bad. It's only good for pencil and maybe charcoal but it's not good for watercolor. And I was delving more into watercolor at the time. So I put this aside and switched it out for my poster colors. So I do want to get back into using this. I think I have enough colors here to do any kind of color combination you would possibly need. I don't think I have any more art supplies from when I was that young. Be oh, wait, I do have one more from when I was that young. Hold up. <laughs> 
So my sister got the watercolors while I got the color pencils. And so these color pencils are Stanford Prisma colors, I think. I think they're just what they're called. Stan yeah. Stanford Prisma colors. So I've had these color pencils since I was really small. I've used up some of them. These are <laughs> pretty old, but they still work. <laughs> and if you want to see another video from me, click here. And with that said, this art break is done. Bye guys.